Hello! Ah, advertising. Where would we be without it? Well, with the way YouTube's going, ask me in about 12 months and I'll tell you. Anyway, the point is, today we are going to be looking at advertising characters which became so popular and such a thing in their own right that people wanted to buy toys of them. Actually, that may not be true. Toys were made of them, let's say that. Whether people actually wanted them or not, that is arguably something different. And no, we're not doing the meerkats. Too bloody obvious. Right, I'm going to do them in chronological order. Cast your mind back to 1992. Unless, obviously, you were born after 1992, because that'll make your brain explode or something. Um, anybody in the UK will remember Tango's Orange Man advertisements. You'll know when you've been tangoed. Was it you know when you've been tangoed, actually? There we are. It's been so long, I've forgotten the tense of it. But yeah, um, basically, it had a man spray-painted orange who ran up to another man when he drank some tango and could only be seen on the replay and slapped him with both hands across the face. And that, you see, my friends, was um, kind of the orangey hit hitting him because tango is a fizzy drink, a fizzy orange-flavoured drink. doesn't really taste that orangey to be honest with you and it's just one of those very sweet sugary syrupy things um yeah it was a massively popular advert blah 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 a lot of people think it was banned off the telly it was never banned uh it was actually pulled voluntarily after the sort of head of advertising at tango or whatever got a phone call saying that a child had um had his eardrums burst by some other child slapping him across both the ears because that used to happen this was a massive well it's quite sort of a viral hit i suppose in the days before the internet proper well before the internet at all for most people really but yeah that was a thing and they then had different versions we ran on and kissed them instead and there was like this weird mutant scotsman who jumped on and his foot had come off so it's all very strange all these different methods of oh my goodness you've been tangoed and got the hit sensation and one of the latter day ones was well just called the tango doll i believe that we often refer to it as gotan for best results, always follow these instructions. Picture chosen victim in your mind, chant tango wildly, pour tango onto doll, laugh man manically, wouldn't that be maniacally, and then mop up. Tango, tango, Royal Mail, Tunbridge 468, postage paid. Yes, here it is. Some of the paint's come off his eyes, but I'm sure you get the idea. So, um, the advert basically was like a weird cult type thing where the leader had one of these dolls and everyone was chanting, Go Tan, Go Tan, Go Tan. Of course, the faster you go, that turns into Go Tan, Go Tan, Go Tan, Go Tan, Go Tan, Go. So it's actually saying Tango. And then he like pours some Tango on this doll, which is some sort of voodoo doll, and that then causes somebody somewhere to get tangoed i think specifically the one i remember had a viking come in and i don't know rub, hit him in the face with a rubber fish or something like that i don't know but there we are that oh look it's, it's on his arse you know it's tango is the tango doll and frankly it's a bit dog toy like <laughs> slightly lighter rubber um, it's got this sort of weird stitching on it to make it look like a sort of voodoo doll or something, but it is quite obviously made of rubber. It's, it's not... It's, I mean, it's a friendly enough thing, isn't it, with its silly eyes and goofy grin and all that kind of thing. But, um, yeah. I remember these being... I, I don't remember seeing any of these back in the day. I remember them being available. But, um, obviously, this one I got off eBay recently. But there we are. That is your Gotan Stroke Tango Doll from your overlords at Tango. But 1995, this was released to tie in with the Mighty TV advert. Um, don't really know if it's that good an image for an advertising campaign. I mean, what is it saying? If you drink Tango, you'll become a sort of amorphous, orange, bug-eyed, wired blob and with sort of weird, slightly um, overweight look. That's a thought, isn't it? Hey, sugary drinks. Anyway, let's now move on move on to the space year 2001. No, not the space odyssey. The monkey! Go on, monkey! Oof! Oh my god, he's, he's so huge! We must move the camera. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. There he is. Get a better angle on him there. Hello, monkey he's a sidekick do you see because he always had like referential t-shirts so there's a long story behind old monkey here this is a really nice thing by the way it's like a proper knitted um soft toy it looks like you do the wash 
Take it up, just realized it's got like a bloody stain on the sea there. Yeah, yeah, dirty monkey. So, <clears throat> here's the story. 2001, uh, there was a company called On Digital, which did sort of uh, TV to your house kind of stuff, changed its name to ITV Digital. And monkey became its mascot along with johnny vegas the comedian who played a character called al and monkey was kind of his sidekick and the reason we refer to him often as monkey rather than monkey is an attempt to uh well copy what johnny vegas said in his ad his accent really um and if you're wondering why he's so nice uh, designed by jim henson's creature workshop uh, you see it's good isn't it that's nice isn't it but yeah really popular adverts um got uh, itv digital into the minds of the public and interestingly you got a free one of these if you subscribed to itv digital and at christmas that year you could sell them on ebay for like 200 quid or something i remember looking at them and thinking if I actually signed up for ITV Digital and got one of these things free, I could sell this and it would pay for the entire year's worth of ITV Digital and, wait for it, I didn't make some money as well. Absolutely astonishing. Kind of glad I didn't though, because uh, ITV Digital went bust the next year, like well within a few months of Christmas. Um, if I remember, they owed the Football Association money for matches or something. Because um, ITV Digital, um, a lot of people had managed to hack the uh, cards for them, uh, which basically meant you could watch all the channels for free, and uh, all some News International was implicated, and all oh, there was all this sort of gubbins. Anyway, the fact remains that that was the end of Monkey. So it wasn't really. <clears throat> The next year, right, I, I'm not 100% sure this is true, but I've heard this from multiple sources, that, like, about a year after ITV Digital went bust, due to the popularity of the character here, voiced by Ben Miller, if you're wondering, um, from Armstrong Miller, you know, um, they actually filmed a TV pilot where the monkey was, like, presenting a variety show with Dawn French or something. Very, very odd. Um, it didn't go anywhere, quite obviously. But that was the end of Monkey, except it wasn't, because Monkey was too bloody popular. So PG Tips, right, the company that makes, you know, tea, tea bags and all that kind of stuff, brought it back in 2007 with Johnny Vegas and everything. Except this time he's advertising PG Tips. And I think that's sort of a testament to the design of the character and its popularity, that it kind of disappeared and then came back advertising an entirely different thing. Um, it's, it's just bizarre. Can't give another example of that. Also, I've only just realised one of its eyes is bigger than the other. Oh, look at that. But you could get little monkey toys, and this is obviously the big one. I think this is one of the ones that was given away free from ITV Digital back in the day. And I'll tell you what, it's really bloody nice. Um, yes, it's definitely an ITV Digital one. Look, it's got a thing on it. Um, yeah, it's just like a really nice toy. It's a big squidgy but also weighty knitted thing um i imagine these must have cost quite a lot to produce but i know what you're all thinking you're all looking at his mouth and you're thinking i wonder can you fit a copy of pirate's cove on cartridge for the vic 20 in its mouth well there's one way to find out no not quite oh uh, well so yo ho well thank you for that monkey you go back there and I'm going to move the uh, camera right the way down again so we can actually see what we're bloody doing. Sorry, you're going to have to go away. He's gone away now. Oh, God, hang on. Whoop. That's a bit straighter, isn't it? There we are. Now we can all see what we're doing as we bring in an item from the year 2011. Ooh, 2011. Anybody know what it is yet? Bad news is a bloody Argos aliens. Right. Oh, look, there's the Argos number. So Argos is like, uh, well, what's the, the old joke everybody comes out with, Argos, the Greek god of queuing. It's like a big warehouse. You go in and you put a number in a machine or speak to a person and they bring the item out and you pay for it and you leave. You know, like a shop, but with access to more stuff, I suppose. God, it's like a coffin, isn't it? So, um... In 2011, they had a Christmas advert with these aliens, um, which were basically big puppets, so sort of CGI-enhanced puppets, with a father voiced by Bill Nye, I think, you know, who did uh, Davy Jones in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, <clears throat> this is them. Well, this is the mother character, I believe. Uh, I don't... Did they give them names? As seen on TV. Oh, look. Yep, here they are. Look, being freakish and... Oh, here they are. 
in leather loving London because they came down from space there even at Abbey Road and I don't know, just bought loads of products from bloody Argos, apparently. They ran their whole lives from the place. Very, very odd campaign, frankly, but it captured the imagination. I never liked it because they're entirely homogenous. They, like, they all look exactly the same, the entire family. Look. Every single one of them looks identical, except they had a baby later on, which was kind of this weird bug-eyed thing. Ugh. God, it was all a bit freakish, actually. Um, so this is Astrid, yay. Astrid is only seven years old, what? With intelligence beyond her years. Oh, I thought it was the mother. No, this is the daughter, apparently. Well, there we are. What more testament do you want? They all look the pissing saying that I couldn't tell. Uh, she can do the Rubik's Cube in 10 seconds flat, trampoline like Olympic gymnast, and play any musical instrument, even the Falumpa set. She suffers from embarrassing dad syndrome. She's a little puzzled by earthing behaviour, probably because she's a lot smarter than everyone else she meets. Despite her huge brain, she's still a little girl that loves ice cream and getting one over on her brother. Great. Produced for Chad Valley Toys. Well, let's have a look at the toy itself then. Uh, oh, hang on. There we are. Ah, you have escaped, Astrid. Hooray, your weird boots have come off. Oh, she's got like weird square feet, like the witches from that Roald Dahl book. Oh no. Right. Get your rug boots back on, look. Well, there it is. It's a sort of hard, rigid thing. Oh, the head doesn't move. The head really looks like it should move, but it doesn't. Just a rigid doll. It's covered in flock, so it's got a sort of slightly velvety feel to it. And, oh, and it can do <laughs> terrifying zombie poses. Take me to your Argos. Yeah. Um, can it sit down? Not really. It's, you know, it's not much of a thing, to be honest with you. Oh, God, I'm going to move the bloody camera again now. Ooh, ooh, there we are. Oh, good God. That's actually terrifying. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Behold the face of your future overlord, Earth Scum. That's what, that was the last advert. It's considered less popular than the others. Um, yeah, so there's a thing. Ah, dearie me. They discontinued it in 2014, I believe. Um, and that was it. I can't remember what they replaced it with. The big sign that said, come to Argos. No bloody idea. Right, moving on through the years to 2013. 2013. And Confuse.com, which is one of those websites that lets you um, compare insurance, you know, like compare the market uh, with its popular meerkat characters, which is probably the er example of this kind of thing, but not doing it. So no. Um and Go Compare, that had a crazy campaign as well with an opera singer with a crazy moustache. Go compare and all that. Uh, as Money Supermarkets, which has currently got like a, well, recently had this weird campaign, the Skeletor and He-Man in it. Actually, all these comparison websites seem to have crazy adverts. This one's probably the least crazy. It is Brian, the confused.com robot. He's like Johnny Five, only more consumer friendly and rounded. There we are. Look, he's got his own license plate that reads Brian! Technically it reads Bry4N, but let's not worry about that. Yep, there's a switch and batteries. We'll get onto that in a minute. Ah, oh, there he is. So yeah, basically he's like a cheeky robot. And then later on he had some friends, I think, and they took him, or he was take, kidnapped and taken to a scrapyard, but his friends rescued him. That's about all I can really remember of that. Oh god, this one speaks for itself. Right, it's got some wheels, there's no friction motor or anything, just you know, standard wheels, goes back and forwards. Bit of articulation, it's quite nicely built actually. The arms don't stay up, really, they sort of go around, the hands rotate. But wait for it, here's the fun. Hi, I'm Brian of Confused.com. Hello Brian, did you know there's a creepy alien over your head? I love being your robo friend. Why? Yes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now I hate you. You've never even played PUBG. Cheers, big I see. Whee! Oh god, it sings the jingle on the next one, I'm convinced. Computer.com. Great. Other comparison websites are available. Specifically, compare the markets, go compare, and money supermarkets. They're all better than confused.com, I'm sure. I'm not sure at all, I've got no bloody idea. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of a, a, a thing. It says annoying things till you turn it off and chuck it in the bin. This was not expensive, <laughs> to say the least. But it's a pleasing enough design. I mean, a kid might get five minutes of fun out of it before its feeble arms break off, I don't know. Here we are, go sit over there with Auntie Megalomaniac. And finally, we go to 2015. 
and we bring back this yeti bastard oh you can barely see him in there from anchor butter so this is sam who is a cute little the alien thing apparently they're officially called hugglers that's the thing isn't it hugglers so yeah um basically these ladies like on a picnic with his parents and they're trying to get rid of him so they throw the ball and he goes running after it uh, this is sam he's a bouncy bundle of fur who just needs someone to keep up with his energy and cgi costs sam loves going for picnics playing football and munching cheese sandwiches they are his favorite so make sure you take him along on your adventures wherever you go oh look and give it as a gift and everything look oh dear from cow to you so yeah it was advertising cheese in the first place then butter second i believe right gotta be careful of this because it's collectible there we are um so this is sam yes um it's it's a cute enough little thing i suppose it's quite hairy um it's it's got arms <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's quite well made. There's not much more you can say about these little soft toys, is it? It's the sort of quality of um, one of the better things you find in Poundland, maybe. Um, sometimes you get sort of dodgy soft toys in there, but sometimes you have good ones. This is like one of the good ones. All we can say about it, really, is another advert um, where like a, a relative gave him an elephant toy that when he squeaked it made an annoying noise and he pissed the mother off. Actually, do you know, the whole subtext of this thing is that the child is annoying. I don't know how that helps sell butter, but the child is annoying and his parents don't really like him. Buy butter and cheese, everyone. Ah, oh, dearie me. I don't, don't know what the message behind the aliens are. Be, be a faceless, homogenous consumer who buys everything at Argos, and, and maybe you'll get long blue fingers. I don't know. Do you know what? I don't bloody care anymore. Go and sit over there, mate. Well, there we are. The, what a jolly set of people we've got. And just think, there's probably some god-awful advert you hate on television right at the moment, and before long, you'll be able to buy a toy of it. And if you're really lucky, one of your kids will get it and annoy you with it forever. Ah, uh, what do you got to say about that, Brian? Nothing, because you're turned off, and that's the way you're bloody staying. I'm staying for more.